Hi everyone, Ryan here from Creating a Website Guide. Today I just want to talk to you quickly about do follow versus no follow links and show you how I actually find do follow links um, when finding blogs to comment on and determining whether a link has any weight. Uh, if you don't know, do follow links are links that help your ranking in Google and actually give you weight or as some people like to say Google juice whereas no follow links are those links that don't really help your ranking in Google at all. The only benefit they have is if somebody finds uh, your website through that link and clicks directly so it's not really helping your ranking. Um, there's two quick ways that I use, um, basically two tools that I use um, when determining whether or not a link is do follow or no follow and both of those are just add-ons to Firefox. Uh, if you're not using the Firefox browser, I highly recommend it. Um, so we'll start with the first one. Uh, the first one is from SEO Moz. It's a toolbar that you can download pretty easily. Um, I already have it installed. You can see it right here at the top. This is what the toolbar looks like. And one of the options on the toolbar is right here. If you click on the No Follows button, you'll notice that this turned pink here. Okay, pink means that the uh, link is going to be a nofollow. So, for example, if we go to a blog, say Phil Gerbachek's blog here, we can go down to the comments, and we see that the link here to the date, um, the reply button, these are all nofollow links, so they're not really giving any juice to anything. Whereas the anchor text here for the comment from uh, Corinne and from Phil are do follow links. So that means that it's actually beneficial from a Google ranking standpoint to uh, comment on Phil's blog. So, um, and another another tool that I like to use, it's very similar, it looks the same, um, is going to be search status. So we'll go to search status here. Um, and I'll have these links on the bottom of the video for you guys uh, or on the webpage wherever you're viewing this video. Um, this is another add-on. Um, you can see it's fairly popular, just shy of a million, well, relatively just shy of a million downloads. Um, and it's an add-on to Firefox, it's called Search Status. Uh, this is version 1.36. And when you download it, it's going to have a little icon. Right here it's uh, on the top left for me, sometimes it's on the bottom right of the browser, depending. Um, and if you right click on that, there's going to be the option to highlight nofollow links. So if you go ahead and do that, We'll go back to Phil's blog. I think we might have to refresh here. Yep, and again, it's going to look the same. Um, pink basically means that it's no follow, and uh, non pink basically means that it's do follow. So I like to keep this on um, whenever I look at blogs to comment on, uh, just because it, it helps me know whether or not it's helping my ranking. Um, it's kind of good to know. Also, for example, if you do like a guest post or if you want to um, see if the anchor text in a post, such as like right here where it says click in, this is do follow, um, you want to make sure that that's weighted. Because even if you if you guest post or you get a link on a site, um, the webmaster could add a tag to make it no follow, which means it's not really weighted in the search engine. So. Uh, hopefully that helps. Those are two tools I use to find uh, do follow versus no follow links.